Assalamu alaikum, dear students, how are you? I hope you are doing great. I am also doing great. So, in the previous classes, I have discussed uh, for you some rules uh, from the right form of the verb. I hope you have enjoyed very much. And uh, today I am back here online to take you another uh, class uh, on the right form of the verb. So, I have so uh, so the rule number 25 and the rule number 26 uh, will be discussed um, for this class. Yeah, so just uh, take a deep breath uh, and enjoy my class. So anyway, uh, let's uh, read the, the rule number 25. So in the previous uh, 24 rules, uh, if there is any uh, questions uh, about those uh, 24 rules, uh, uh, please just uh, comment, the, comment your opinion uh, below the video. I will try to answer your questions uh, in my next of my class. So, uh, rule number 24.5, uh, let's say read about this rule. So, if the sentence is start, if the sentence uh, starts, if the sentence starts with would that, if the sentence starts with would that, uh, could and could and present form of verb uh, will be used, will be used, will be used after subject. So, uh, so, uh, what's the rule? The rule is if any sentence may start or if the sentence starts uh, with would that. So, so the starting um, the starting is would that. So, what uh, what will be the verb after the subject? So that is the question. So, if the sentence starts with would that, could and present form uh, of verb will be used after subject so let's see an example would that i okay the sentence is start so it would that so would that i a gap and in the bracket go to college So, the sentence starts with would that. So, uh, look at the subject. After would that, would that, the subject I is used. So, what will be the right form the, of the verb go? So, the rules, according to the rules, uh, we, we have said that or we have told that if the sentence starts with would that, would and present form of verb uh, will be used after subject. So, so would and present form of verb will be used after this subject. So the right answer will be would that I could would that I could could and the present form of verb go to college. Okay. So the right answer will be could go. Okay, let's uh, go to the second rule uh, in this class. So rule number 26. So we will use past participle form after to be or having. To be or having. That means if there is uh, the phrase to be or having in any sentence and after uh, this phrase or this word, if there is the verb, after this phase of the this word, the past participle form will be used after this phase or word. So uh, let's read the rule again. We will use past participle form after this phase to be or having. So uh, let's see an example. Okay, hold a minute. Okay, uh, let's see an example. He ran away. He ran away having Okay, so uh, 
check out this uh, uh, sentence he ran away subject he main verb ran he ran away having so uh, just just uh, see this word having uh, and again and in the bracket the verb take the money so what will be the right answer in the gap what will be the correct form of verb have after having so uh, the rule is uh, we will use past participle form after to be or having so having ha having is used so after having the right form of this verb will be past participle form so let's uh, write the correct answer he ran away having so take took taken taken the money okay my dear students um, this is the class for uh, today i hope you have enjoyed my class very nicely if you have any question about my class or the classes i have discussed previously just do a comment below the video i will try to your answer in my next of my class thank you so much